Hi everyone. It is June 23, 2018. I've been reluctant to post this video because I don't want to cause anybody any fear. That is not why I post videos. But the earthquakes and the extremely low frequencies that I've been seeing on National Mosaic that I will show you just from yesterday. I have taken captures of every day seeing these ultra low frequencies being set off. When I say ultra low, just think extremely low frequencies. And well, extremely low frequencies can cause an earthquake. The military has their own earthquake weapon. And I think it's very interesting that they have these extremely low frequencies that are known to cause earthquakes being set off uh, in California near fault lines. If you have a major earthquake, well, you guys will know that it was brought to you, unfortunately, so many Californians won't know. But we've had an awful lot of earthquakes up at the, what is it called, the old geyser? Yellowstone. Yellowstone. Man, if they set that thing off, woof, that's going to be quite destructive. But so will a major earthquake in California. So in doing some research, I came across an awful lot of articles, mainstream media articles, posted last year. Scientists predict 2018 will be a bad year for earthquakes, and here's why. Upsurge in big earthquakes predicted for 2018 as Earth rotation slows? Really? Yes, scientists say number of severe quakes is likely to rise strongly next year because of a periodic slowing of the Earth's rotation. Significant earthquakes in 2018. I will link below to everything, but if you want to see the significant earthquakes, which I believe are, I always thought they were either four or five or greater, but here are the listed are some threes. There are a whole lot of earthquakes. But here, Newsweek, 2018 could bring increase in severe worldwide earthquakes. We've been programmed. I have an ad blocker. So we could see twice as many big earthquakes this year, scientists warn, because the equator has shrunk. Oh, it's the equator shrinking. And God, every mainstream media article now, either you have to subscribe or um, you have to accept their cookies. Powerful earthquakes to ravage Earth in 2018 as planet's rotation temporarily slows. World earthquakes live, breaking news and highlights. You can check out the what the USGS may not list, you might be able to get on another list. Hawaii, 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 Hawaii. Wow. Hawaii must have had at least 4,000 earthquakes in 60 days. Here is the earthquakes within all of USA, Canada, and Mexico within the last seven days, two or greater. Look at all of the earthquakes in Alaska. Wow, and off the uh, coast of Alaska, and seven in Washington, and Vancouver. Doesn't surprise me at all. How many videos have I posted sh uh, showing you the extremely low frequencies going off in this area, and in Idaho, and in Montana, Nevada? None of this surprises me based on what I have been seeing. San Diego? Doesn't surprise me. All right, so when you come across this that was posted April of this year, the big one is coming to California, seismologist Lucy Jones says cheerfully. Cheerfully. Really? Cheerfully. Okay. 
this is my most recent Google search. Magnitude 3.2 earthquake, June 22nd, 3.41 a.m. Doesn't surprise me at all. I know California has an awful lot of earthquakes. You also have an awful lot of extremely low frequencies being set off. And another reason, fracking. But California's big one to happen before we think and will be triggered by slow. Oh, this is a different kind of explanation that is given by the experts. California's big one to happen before we think and will be triggered by slow earthquake. A slow earthquake, not the earth rotation slowing. It's going to now happen because of slow earthquakes. Yes. Geologists from the Arizona State University discovered California's infamous San Andreas Fault is affected by a sequence of small movements called slow earthquakes, which releasing energy along the fault over a period of months. These movements are too weak to be felt by people, but have a devastating impact on the area. Okay, experts are on it, and they seem to be coming up with different reasons. Yes, I am concerned. So this is what I've been seeing along the coast of California every single night. I've captured probably about a month of video of all of these extremely low frequencies being set off. Vandenberg Air Force Base, San Francisco area, Eureka, California, Los Angeles, Santa Ana, down to San Diego. What I did capture last night was these ultra low frequencies being set off inland into the Barstow area and west of Barstow. These frequencies are directional, so they can control them. These frequencies release energy. They can release the energy to create an earthquake. So this is just from last night. I will link below to the National Mosaic and you can check it out. Be aware, prepare. Don't get, you know, all freaked out. We're at war. This is what happens when you're at war. When they have these unconventional weapons to use weather, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions against the people of the world. Look, if you have a major earthquake, it will be brought to you by man. Again, just prepare, be aware, and I hope nothing, nothing at all happens. And all of you stay safe. But I did feel like I had to bring it to your attention. But yeah, I don't want to be accused of fear mongering. That is not why I post videos. There are the frequencies going off in Palestine. Okay. Ciao, guys.